Hey, Wayne the voiceover goalie here. My channel is all about bringing you awesome goalie content. So if you've liked, subscribed, or commented on one of my videos, you are totally awesome. Happy Saturday, everybody. I hope this is going to work. I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing here today. Um, I just, you know, wanted to, uh, I wanted to make sure that I'm just, I don't know, helping everyone. Wanted to connect with everyone during this time of like us all being home together, chilling out, hanging out, not having a lot of hockey to go to play. Um, and I don't know, just start doing some fun stuff and hanging out and connecting with you some more. And so this is my attempt at, uh, at, at doing a gaming setup. So I thought to myself, well, what better game exemplifies kind of what it is that I am all about than a game from 1988? Nintendo Ice Hockey. So I thought we'd just hang out a little bit. Um, I'd play a period, maybe jump in the chat, chat a little bit in between periods, uh, and just kind of see how this goes. So I hope this is going okay. I Let me take a look at the stream real quick. Let's see. Uh, I have like multiple monitors all set up here. And so uh, I have a difficult time understanding what's going on. It's my first, this is like my first gaming stream. I'm, I'm totally sometimes technologically inept when it comes to new things. So hopefully you can all hear me. And, uh, and then I have the, so I have three monitors. I have the game here in this one. I have my streaming set up here on this one and I have another piece of software and, uh, and the chat actually in this window so I can see all of you so yeah what's going on the goalie guy what's up man how are you uh, let's go Bruins this is gonna be awesome I hope it's gonna be awesome that's my that's my goal right uh, John Liska what's going on dude the best team oh yeah here's here's a good tip pro tip best team one big guy one skinny guy two average guys I think that's probably what I'm gonna go with um, yeah this game was legendary I spent hours on end playing it as a kid have fun when yeah I think this was one of the first ice hockey games that um, was available on a home console uh, for the Nintendo, the original Nintendo Entertainment System. I know that I, my brother and I played this game to like no end, and then, and then once things started getting you know catching on with home gaming uh, with ice hockey games, we started playing games like Blades of Steel, and then with the Super Nintendo, Nintendo. Um, NHL 93 and NHL 94 and NHL 95 and then and then those are, in my mind were kind of like the the quintessential OG hockey games right that really made or break made or break it I mean I especially loved NHL the early NHL series the 93 94 series um, because it had the vertical orientation right where you were skating north south and for me, that was just kind of the way, as goalies, like all of us, that's the way we watch the game in real life. And so for me, that was like, oh yeah, this is like the most natural way for me to, to game. So maybe if this stream goes okay, I will, uh, I will um, try to stream some more ice hockey games in the next week or two. We'll, we'll see how it goes. So um, let's see. Uh... A couple more people in the chat. A couple more people have, have joined the chat. That's awesome. That's awesome. You guys are like totally awesome. Thank you so much for joining me on a Saturday. Um, TJ Frickles, TJ Frickleson, what's up, yo man? How are you doing? Eddie, what's going on, man? How are you? Connor, hey, thank you for joining. De Dennis Adams, good to see you, man. Uh, Josh Degnan, I got a question. Yeah, I'll, I'll put a question in the chat. I'll be taking some questions later, maybe in between periods. Uh, the Jason Six, thank you for joining me again. All, you know, for all of you that were here yesterday in my live stream, my Friday fan hangout, thank you so much for hanging out with me again. Um, I just, you know, really appreciate you taking some time. I know at this during this time in in the world we're all going to be kind of isolated right i know a lot of us are already feeling that already and for me it was really i that was one of the, the catalysts for starting this channel because i work from home 
and I had very little social interaction. And so starting the channel to connect with other goalies was my way of getting that social interaction. So for all of you to come and hang out with me, I mean, that's that's just awesome. Um, Jack, thanks so much for your comment. We could hear you, see the game screen, and see the chat on the right. Everything looks good and sounds great. Thanks so much, man. I was working really hard on this um, yesterday to try to get this set up uh, going on. I did a lot of research about what gaming channels are. And... Uh, I thought, okay, yeah, man, I, I've been streaming. I play video games. I could I could be a, a gamer, a goalie gamer, hashtag goalie gamer. Uh, I know a lot of other people play video games. And you know what? For me, my stance on video games is, there's you know, as a parent, as someone that grew up playing video games, there's lots of debate about the validity and how much video games really help you in everyday life and your development and all that other stuff, right? But I can tell you that, you know what? If you are playing something like a game that requires some Twitch reaction time, some hand-eye coordination, I mean, I can't help but think that that helps you in your goalie game in some capacity, right? Whether or not it's true to, like, the game that you're playing, if it's a realistic reenactment of hockey or not, it could be a first-person shooter game, it could be um, any of these other types of games, right? Video games, in my mind, help you identify things like pattern recognition, so that you can react to certain situations, right? And that's exactly what goaltending is quite often. It's recognizing certain situations and certain plays and reacting accordingly. So even if it's like a whole different physical thing, cognitively, in my opinion, video games can help you in that way. So, um, so yeah, Jack, thank you so much. Uh, for confirming that this is all good. Oh, look! I'll show you guys before we get into it. I'll sh I'll show you. I'll show you my, my slick. Uh, yeah, when we get into the game, it'll it'll be like that. Just so we can all see the game a little better. You don't need to see me like I don't know doing commentary on the game. Um, but yeah. So, oh man, I don't even. I can't even believe that I was able to get all this working. So thank you so much for everyone that is joining. Um, I'm going to start real soon to get that first period in, and then uh, I'll jump back into the chat to get to get some of the um, some questions in and see who else is in here in a little bit, okay? It is, uh, it's about noontime here uh, on, a, on a Saturday, and I don't know if people have other things they need to do today. It's kind of like this weird this weird time in our lives where we're like, oh, it's a Saturday, we feel, I feel like we should be doing something, and then everyone around the world is saying, don't do anything, don't go anyplace. So I'm like, okay, well, now's as good a time as any to um, <laughs> hang out, play some multiple games. All right, so let's get let's get into the first period. Let's start this up. Um, we're going to obviously play a one-player game because it, last time I checked, it was just me hanging out here. Oh, what, uh, what team... What team should we select? Ah. All right, well, I guess I will be USA, and I guess because the majority of, um, I mean, I, I can't choose between all of my, all of my, all of my, uh, European friends, so, uh, we'll do, we'll do Canada for the computer player, although, interestingly enough, like, Canada is green. I never, I never got that right. Like, why is Canada green? Okay, so Sweden is like a beige which kind of makes sense because they, their colors were kind of like that. Poland is like a camo green. Canada is like a bright green. Um, Russia is red and Czechoslovakia or the Czech Republic or whatever it was back in 1988, whenever this game was made, uh, is gray. So I guess that's really just, I would have thought that they would have made Canada red, but uh, I guess because they needed to make Russia red, that, yeah, okay. So, let's do U.S. versus Canada. What do you say? Um, speed. I don't... I honestly don't remember much about this game. So, uh... Maybe we'll... Maybe we'll put the speed to, like... Uh, maybe we'll just do two. And the time limits, maybe we'll do, uh, ten minute periods. Okay. Those are my settings. Ah, uh, choosing the teams. Yeah, okay. What's so yeah based on based on based on uh, who was it that, that provided the feedback? Um, based on your feedback, I am gonna go with two two regular guys, one skinny guy and one big guy because I don't know so I don't know how many of you were 
have ever played this game before or were even alive or born when this game came out. Um, you have four, it's four on four hockey. I don't remember what the rules are, if they're offsides or icings or anything like that. Um, but each of the different players have different attributes. And so the skinny guy is really quick in skating, but he's a weak puck handler and has a weak shot. The average guys are average in stats, and the bigger guy is slower to skate, but has a more powerful shot. And I think he's a little bit better on, on the stick handling end. Um, so let's see, let's see how we go get into this. Okay. Uh, all right, I won the face off. That's a good sign. Uh, let's go around the net. And I already lost the puck, okay. Oh my gosh, this game is so much more frantic than I remember being there. Ah, all right, I made a save, that was good. Uh, this is so much more frantic than I remember it being. Uh, all right, skinny guy, take it in, take it in the zone. Oh no. Oh, I won that battle, here we go. I just shot it right into their goalie. What am I doing? It's gonna, you know, honestly, I think it's gonna take me, it's gonna take me like a period to like, ah, here we go. Uh, it's gonna take me a period to get get used to how this game plays, right? Um, having not, uh, oh my gosh, having not played this game in a long time, um, I have played it. I have played it recently, maybe in the last three months, but it was really just a. Uh, it was really just a novel thing. It wasn't. It was, oh, see, look at that big slap shot. It wasn't anything like I put in a, a ton of hours into it. I like fired it up, played it, and I was like, oh yeah, that's kind of that's kind of fun. Um, shooting from outside. Oh. I can't let that little guy score on me. Part of, the, part of what I liked about this game was the fact that you could actually be the goalie uh, to some capacity and try to make saves. Um, but it's just kind of like getting in the way, right? You're cutting down the angle. So there's no, oh, oh my gosh. See, that's, that's was, uh, that was a poor, poor goaltending on my part. Uh, it's so hard because you don't, there's no, um, there's barely any indicator as to which player you're controlling. If you look at the guy I'm, that has the puck right now. Oh, there we go. That was easy. End to end rush, right? But my puck carrier, the player you control kind of flashes, but because the game was like a was an 8-bit game, it's it's really hard to, to differentiate. See, he's flashing like gold. There we go. Now it's coming back to me, right? Um, so he's flashing gold, but when you're in the defensive zone, I'm just like literally mashing all the buttons. Of which, if you are familiar with the old Nintendo system, there were two. An A button and a B button. It wasn't like it wasn't like uh, today's games where there are I don't know ten different button combinations you can press at any given time to skate and oh did I just oh my gosh I almost scored an own goal I think I almost shot at myself let's get this let's get fast guy to go through I'm going to I think there's also fighting in this game too uh, I just passed it to the boards that was great let's see if we can get into a fight. Oh, here we go. That's a fight. So, <laughs> if you're not familiar with this, with this game, this is how you got into a scrum, right? You kind of had a puck battle, and then uh, I got the penalty. I got the penalty for fighting. So, you get into like a a, a battle with the puck, and then everyone just kind of joins into a scrum, and um, and then the ref comes in and pulls out one person. I don't know if it was the person who started the fight or if it was a random person, and then you get a penalty and you end up skating. Um, you end up skating shorthanded. Ah, uh, made the save there. That was good. Uh, what? I'm just passing right back to the slot. Come on. Oh, big guy. Come on. Ah, uh, I think that was good. No, come on. Someone has to come back to collect this. There we go. There we go. That was good. Let's try to delay. I want to try to kill that penalty, right? Oh my gosh. Oh, you want to get into a fight with me here? All right. Oh, I stole that puck. So yeah, the the skinny guy doesn't have um. The 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 ability to shorthanded goal. There you go. This is all coming back to me now. I feel pretty good. We killed the penalty. Maybe we got a shorthanded goal. I couldn't tell. I'm actually not listening to the game audio um, because 
Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Where was my defense in that point, right? No one was covering the guy in the slot for that rebound. Greasy, greasy goal. Uh, so, 17 seconds left in the period. Let's see if we can just get one more here. Pass it to the big guy. Oh, I, I blasted it right into the goalie. All right, one period down. Let's, um, you know what, let's pause the game. Let's let's check out what's going on in the chat over here. Uh, let's see, we'll do my slick transition. Um, so that was a good period. All right, we're we're winning we're winning three to two. That's a good period. Uh, it took me I don't know a couple minutes to get a feel for the controls again, right? I mean this game is super super rudimentary when you look at the when you look at games like NHL 19 these days and streaming and your ability to do different things. I mean one of the best things about video games back in the day, I think it was with NHL 94 on the Super Nintendo, was that they introduced the one timer which was you could pass it to another player and keep if you kept mashing the shoot button they would shoot a one timer immediately upon receiving the puck which was i mean that made that specific game the hockey game to to play uh, never mind the fact that they had it was i think it was either the, at at some point EA had the NHL license and the NHL PA player license and so they had the actual NHL teams and logos and they had actual NHL player names. And you know me, I grew up I grew up watching hockey in the nineties. So to be able to play as your as your favorite NHLer back then, I mean that was that was awesome for, for real. Um let's see, let's go through some of the chat and see if I can say hey to, to anyone that's in here that I missed. Uh while we take a break in between periods. What do they, what do they call it? Like a commercial a TV timeout, right? Uh so let's see who else is here since I haven't since I uh, started. Uh, Michael D, what's up, boss man? What's up? What's going on, dude? How are you? Um, Duville, hey, how are you, man? Joseph Wenderland, what's up? What's up? How are you? Super excited that you guys have been able to to take some time out to hang out with me on this Saturday, wherever it is that you are around the world. Blue Orion forty five, you should play Blades of Steel. I will definitely consider that. Uh, Blades of Steel was. It was one of those games where I I really liked it because just I, it was really just that first audio clip right when the guy in his digitized voice yelled "Blades of Steel." I mean that was that was in my mind. I thought, man, I could do that, and maybe that's what sparked me to want to be uh, a voice actor. That one Blades of Steel voiceover. Um, the Jason Six. What's your favorite hockey game across any system? Oh, you know. So I haven't been able to get into um, a lot of the newer hockey games because I just don't have... I'm old school, right? I grew up in the... Uh, I'm 40-something years old. I grew up in the 80s and 90s. I love... I am. I consider myself a retro gamer. In fact, I my favorite game of all time is Donkey Kong. And in the arcade, I can play Donkey Kong on one quarter for like, I don't know, like 30 or 40 minutes. Uh, so much so that if I find a Donkey Kong machine in the wild, which is hard to do, uh, my wife almost won't let me play because she knows that we'll be standing there for like 30 or 40 minutes. And and so I'll play for like, I don't know, 10 minutes and then I'll literally walk away from the game while it's still running because I don't, you know, just to get that just to get that flavor um, of playing. So I so I grew up on games like Pac-Man, Donkey Kong. Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and so I, I wasn't able to get into a lot of the newer hockey games that everyone are, that everyone is streaming right now, right? Like if you check out Jen Jen's ninety five's channel, you can see her stream what whatever the latest NHL game is. Um, I might get into that maybe if I had a little extra time, but um, honestly, my favorite games across any system, uh, I would have to say uh, Hit the Ice. It was an arcade game that was two on two hockey. If you remember Hit the Ice, let me know in the, in the chat below, um, in the in the chat. But Hit the Ice was an arcade game. It was at our local rink, so we were there all the time. So we were playing Hit the Ice all the time, and it was two on two hockey. It was really cartoonish, um, and there were characters, and each one had a different like attack. It was kind of like a fighting game slash hockey game combined into one, um, and it was just I don't know. It was just dynamic. But really, when it came to the the home consoles, I really liked, it was probably, I don't remember which version, but NHL 94, the one where you could get into fights, people bled, 
they had the one timers, they had the player names, and you could control the goalie, right? And they came EA at that time came up with the system of creating stars for the players you were controlling. And so it was really easy. Unlike this game, this game is super hard to, to figure out which player you're actually controlling. Um, but in like those NHL series, they came up with a star system where you could then like swap and you would know immediately which players. And it was a dim star. It was a dim star for um, the non-puck carrier. And I think it was like a bright colored in star for the puck carrier or something like that. Uh, but that made it like super awesome. So yeah, those those were my favorite games. So um, let's see who else is in here. Uh, where was I? Josh asked, because when they canceled the season, they said that the Boston Bruins are named the Stanley Cup champions for 2020 because of most points. Can they do that? Uh, so that is my question. You know, I don't know. I haven't, the truth be told, once they decided to pause the season, um, I kind of stopped visiting NHL.com and all this other stuff, right? Because things are happening so quickly they're they're still figuring out kind of what it is that's going to happen with the rest of the season when it will resume people are like well when is the nhl going to resume and i know from uh i was in event uh event event management for a long time i worked at the garden in in a in a capacity back when i was in college and i know kind of what the logistics are of things like rescheduling right and we're not just talking about the nhl season when it comes to arenas around the world around the Uh, North America. We're talking about the NBA season in a lot of cities. We're talking about concert series. We're talking about things like WWE wrestling. We're talking about in like in the Boston area, the garden is a big event space for college commencements and graduation ceremonies. So we're, so I think there, it's hard to figure out kind of what the logistics are for all of those things. Never mind the fact that a lot of NHL rinks take down their ice at a certain point of the year so they don't have all of that you know they don't have the ice going and the boards and all of that running they just have their concrete slab and so i think the logistics of trying to reschedule literally everything are are going to be kind of tight and we'll just have to see how they play out um would i like it if the bruins were just to clear the champions because they were yeah yeah man that'd be awesome but it would feel kind of like at the same time not real right because just being handed the the championship because you had the best record feels less of an accomplishment than actually going through the process of the Stanley Cup um, finals. And so, yeah, so we'll just have to see. I guess we'll all see how it goes together at some point soon. Um, Eddie, what's going on? It's it's you're in Sweden. That's awesome. Oh, I'm totally sorry that I didn't I didn't choose Sweden. Now I should have. I guess I should have done a poll as to who and where everyone is, and then I could have decided the teams based on that. So, dude, Eddie, I'm totally sorry. Maybe next time I will choose um two European teams. So, uh, let's go Bruins. You're out in Colorado. Awesome. Um, Dev, you're in the U.S. Nice. Uh, Jason, I have to work at Fort Bummer. Oh, well, that's okay. Uh, I'll, I'm probably only going to live stream for, I don't know, like an hour today. We're still in period two, so I'll just jump back in that real quick. Um, USSR is red. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, Sean Cosgrove. It's funny because back then it was the USSR, not Russia or the you know, Soviet Union or whatever. The game is so dated these days. It's kind of funny. Um, who else is in here? Uh, beer league goalie NHL 94. Yeah, man, that is, that is the good, that is, that maybe might be the definitive one. I haven't done any research in that. Um, but I think 94 was, was my favorite of those nineties games. Uh, Dana Tarbox, what's going on, buddy? Dana is my, Dana is like my, literally my goalie BFF. He and I have skated together and against each other so many times and it was always a great game. Seeing this game being played brings me back. Yeah, dude, totally, right? It brings, you know, and I, I, I've been meaning to connect with Dana, Dana off the ice. He has a sweet set of um, Brian's G4s, uh, genetic 4s, and he got them right about the time where we stopped playing, where I stopped, I took my break. And so I haven't been able to actually, I don't know if I've been able to see him playing those, but um, Dana, man, good to see you, dude. Let's definitely connect at some point real soon. Um, Yauzo, Yauza, Yauza, what's up? Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? Thanks so much for joining me. I know you were here yesterday, so I'm super psyched to see some of you in here again. Um, oh, here's a new name, Brakaris, Brakaris from Slovakia. 
What's up, dude? How are you? I am super psyched. I wanted to do this live stream during uh, you know the time where the most people may be able to tune in. So it's Saturday afternoon here in the East Coast of the U.S., Saturday morning probably on the West Coast um, in North America, and probably early evening for, for you folks over in... Um, in Europe and, and across that way. So thank you so much. I'm so glad I'm so glad you were able to hang out and join and 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 just chill out with me. So thank you. Um let's get through a couple more see a couple more people in here and then we'll jump into period two and then see what's going on with that. See if we can um take a bigger lead. So uh Jack, this is the best ever. Thanks for sharing this, Wayne. Hey man, I'm super I'm just super excited to hang out. I want to produce more content uh to get people out there to just connect to have a good time to you know at a time where we can't go anywhere one of the one of the best things we can do is i don't know just consume content online and while it's fun to watch videos it's more it's way more fun to actually interact with all of you with you real time right now and just hang out you know i think to myself when i was thinking about the game i was going to play today um an an old nintendo entertainment system game like like Nintendo ice hockey came to mind because one, I don't know if any of you were remember back in the day, but these games were like the original streamed games for us. Right. Because, and what I mean by that is that if you had a friend that had a Nintendo game that you didn't have, you would go to his house, his or her house to, to play that game. Right. But inevitably, it ended up being they would play the game and you would watch the game because that's just kind of how it worked. And so doing something like live streaming an old Nintendo game really feels like that, right? It feels like, oh, yeah, this is exactly how I remember it. Uh, I had a best friend who had this game. I'd go to his house and he would play the game and I would sit there and watch him and then I'd leave. And so it's like totally right in line with that which is kind of ironic when you think about that right that now that's what people do online is that they watch other other gamers and maybe that's just kind of the way that um <laughs> the way that it kind of was meant to be who knows um so i'm so glad that you guys are hanging out jason thompson is here from delaware awesome um i still haven't gotten on the ice yet to start my goalie life but you know what you will uh, you will get there all oh, right jason you and i have been communicating via instagram um, I think he sent me a DM. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. That's the best way to connect with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Send me a DM and I will definitely reply. Sometimes it's not timely. It takes me a little bit because my inbox can get a little bit uh, a little bit flooded, but I will get back to you with a custom voice message directly to you answering your question or comment. So if you want to connect with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis, follow me on Instagram, send me a DM at VO Goalie, super easy and super chill. And I'm super excited to connect with you in that way. So Jason, I'm so glad you're almost there, man. Once everyone gets back, once the rink's all opened up again, uh, hopefully you'll get back out there. Um, Sean Gosgrove, I forgot, I forget, but Versus the CP, you could time the fight where they went shorthanded. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't remember. It was, it was before. This game came out way before the internet, right? So, so things like tips and strategies and hacks and all that stuff weren't readily readily available. You were reading things like Nintendo Power to like figure out the tips and hacks of your favorite video games, and no one was putting out tricks for ice hockey. I mean, it was one of the most basic. I think one of the early launch titles for the Nintendo Entertainment System. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe if we get into another fight uh, this this period, we can see if we can get them to be shorthanded. So, um, speaking of that, let's get back into period two. It's, you know, so you don't have to listen to me ramble this whole time. Uh, so, let's see. How do I, how do, I do this here? Um, I'm going to do this slick, <laughs> this slick transition back to this you guys can see the chat let's unpause this game uh with the start button let's start in period two and and see if we can pat our lead a little bit um all right here we go won the face off that's good oh there we go right off the bat face off win busted into the zone scored a goal i don't you know i don't think that i don't know if i don't think offsides are on i don't think they had offsides in this game Oh, oh, skinny guy like stole the puck for me. Um, I don't think they had offsides. I think they might have had. Oh, breakaway! I shot it right into him. There you go. That's that's a goalie for you, right? A goalie playing forward. Uh, 
I don't know what to do. I don't know what player to control in in the corner here. Do I do the goalie? Come on. Let's get into another scrum. I need to get... Oh, see? I was too busy, like, controlling, trying to control the player that I forgot to control the goalie in this time. So, I think it's hard because I think the goalie is also... You dual control players, so you control your skater, but you also... Um, Oh, here we go. See, now that guy started the fight with me, right? He was the instigator in that. And let's see what happens. I'm going to mash the A button just to be sure. What? How? So, I don't know if it's random or not, but I definitely was not the person that started that scrum. So, yeah, maybe it's random. But, like I was saying, I think you, uh... I think you control both your player and the goalie when it's in the defensive zone. That was a good save. Uh, playing at the top of my, playing at the top of my crease, my, my square crease, my rectangular crease. Oh, the goalie made a good save there. Oh, I got another shot. Uh, shorthanded breakaway. Ooh. Take it, take it big guy, take it big guy. Oh, I think that was a, that was a good shot, a good save by their goalie. What? Man, see, yeah, you get torn between trying to, um, trying to control the player to break up the play and forgetting to control the goalie because the goalie is also dual controlled so when you're jamming buttons he's moving like out of the way oh nice steal there oh, I shot it right into him maybe I need to uh, uh, take a better angle on that come back come back oh that was that was awful how not to play the puck in real life or in video games, right? Don't just shoot right back to the don't shoot right back to the slot. Okay. Ah, it got tripped up. That's the thing. I think the I think the skinny guy, the, the little guy is Oh, good save there. Now, come on. Someone has to come back for this. And then I just shoot it right up to the middle. Grab it, grab it. That was not a good play. Ah, who's covering that guy? Oh my gosh, Canada is gone up by a goal. Okay, let's buckle down. Let's figure this out here. Uh, maybe I need to, in the defensive zone, refocus on my goaltending. Oh, there we go. We got it back. Easy, easy as that. It's so funny. Um, it's it's so funny because I haven't played this game in so long that if I were to do a game like NHL 94, I feel like the, that would come back to me much quicker. But this game is so... Oh, that was a big slap shot. Here we go. Oh! I made those saves. That was a good save sequence. I could just get this guy. Uh. Oh! Alright. Let's break it up from our zone. Uh, and that was such the that was the weakest shot ever because that's the guy with the weak shot. Ah, got it. Here we go. That was a good pass. What? All right. Ooh, that was a good steal. Ah, see, he's so weak on his skates, the skinny guy. That um. There we go. Giveaway and the goal. Oh man, this is a little stressful. All right, six to five. This feels like a this feels like a beer league hockey game, huh? <laughs> no, no defense and pure offensive scoring. Ah. Dude, dude, see? All right, breakaway. Skate, skate, big guy, skate. Shooting up high. Ah, tried to pick the corner there. I don't know how accurate that ever would be. <laughs> Shot totally wide. Um, oh yeah, it's funny. This this is the. They did the Zamboni in between, um, in between periods two and three, so that's pretty funny. What rink has three Zambonis going at the same time? I don't, I don't know. Let's, um, so, period two worked out good. We still maintained our, um, we still maintained our one goal lead. Let's, let's go back and, and check out the chat here for a little bit. Um, yeah, this game is so funny. Just the fact that they're going to resurface the ice, I think, is, is, is the funniest part for me. Um, let's see if I click back on the chat window. Who? Let's see who else. A couple other people have joined since since last period. Um, 
let's see who else is in here. Uh, wah, bah, 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 bah. Oh, here we go. This is where I was. Um, so a couple of questions. Let's see. Uh, do Duville, how have the Warrior RG4s been over the years? Mine have. So my uh, my G4s have been awesome. They've held up great. Um, granted, I did take a period of time off, about five or six months, where I didn't use them. But before that, I was using them at least once sometimes twice or three times a week and they held up they held up really great i mean i i love that gear um then i did have a little bit of the same issue that a lot of people had with the knee wing stitching coming up based on friction and the air slide of the knee block um, but I, I mean i do a lot of gear modifications so i was able to just stitch that up myself real quick and after doing that i hadn't had any issues i know that maybe i think in the if i recall correctly the early run of the g4s we're using a thinner um a thinner nylon thread for that knee wing area and then subsequently they switched to a thicker nylon thread to stitch that in later models um but i mean overall i mean yeah they've been they've been a super great pad i think the design of warrior gear over the last couple of years are are geared more towards pad durability so for people like us that are skating once or twice a week, yeah, they, they've totally held up great. So I love those pads. Um, LAX kids, what's going on? Lax kids, hey, uh, I started goalie this year. Awesome. Congratulations. I love hearing stories about people who started to play goal uh, recently because that's, I mean, that's like the best feeling. I, I assume you came from a lacrosse background. So I hope it translates well into, into ice hockey. So Razzler, what's going on, man? How are you? Edward Gregory, hey, I'm a masshole. What's up, man? Massholes unite. Yeah, it's funny because I don't, I don't ever presume to know where everyone is, or if I run into other goalies in this area that are in Massachusetts that they know who I am. Um, but increasingly, I will run into people and they'll be like, "Oh my gosh, Wayne, what's going on?" I'm like, "Hey, man, you must be. <laughs> what's going on?" And I never think that I will know or anyone will recognize me in Massachusetts. But there are a fair amount of people in Massachusetts that uh, that watch my channel. And it's probably because, you know, when you think about some of the hockey hubs in the United States, Massachusetts, New England, um, Minnesota, you know, those are some of those are some of the of the bigger hockey areas in the US. So it's no surprise that people people I, I meet people on the street, that's kind of crazy. Um, but it's mostly when I go to like a hockey store or something, right? Or I'm at a rink and that, you know, where you're where you're more inclined to meet goalies. So um, yeah, Edward, awesome. Thanks for joining me today. Congra welcome, welcome. Uh, Hayden Ball says, what are you saying would be true because the Lightning got... Oh, what you were saying would be true because the Lightning got swept by the Blue Jackets, so they didn't win the Cup as the President's Trophy winner. Yeah, that would be... Yeah, that I don't know how that whole thing would work out. I don't think that they could... Uh, I don't think they could just name anyone the Stanley Cup champions without actually having that because we all know that the playoffs are like a brand new season, right? It's like it's like starting fresh. Everyone gets a clean slate and points in the regular season don't matter except for seeding. So um, I wouldn't I wouldn't think they would they would just hand the trophy over to, to someone. Um, Mayo three, what's going on? How are you, man? Good to see you again. Um, yeah, Dana Tarbox, what's up, kid? Missing you on the ice. We got to connect again, man. Yeah, definitely soon. Uh, TN073, what's up? Your new name that I don't recognize. You are totally awesome, man. Um, bro, bro, we're taking this old school. Jag, yeah, we're, we're definitely taking, we're definitely kicking it old school today. Uh, and it's just really indicative of kind of what I am all about, right? Although I don't recommend old school save. So if you watched, so if you watched my old, one of my recent videos, I think I linked to... Um, the online video of Jim Parks, the puck stops here, goalie, uh, tutorial training videos from the, I don't know, circa like early eighties based on their equipment that they were using in that game. And, uh, if you, if you watch that video, it's hilarious because there's so many things that just seem wrong given how the game has evolved and how equipment has evolved and how we think about the game and process certain things but then there are these golden nuggets of information and, and truths that that are still relevant today right and it's amazing to think that someone back then was thinking about kind of that stuff because 
you know, I think if we all knew the things we knew today about goaltending um, and we transplanted ourselves back into the 70s and 80s, we would be able to dominate the game, right? Even with the old equipment. Um, but because because players weren't thinking, you know, players didn't have the same kind of things they have today to beat us, right? They all didn't have these amazing sticks that allowed everyone to shoot at 80 miles an hour. Back then, guys could barely sh- lift the puck up high, They and they were using straight sticks. They weren't, like, coming into the backhand, deking and roofing it on you, right? So our understanding of things like angles today would have given us such a huge advantage back then. And then you look at those videos, and as entertaining as they are, they they are missing certain key things that we understand as fundamentals today. Um, but still, those old school videos are definitely just fun to watch uh, for nostalgia reason, reasons, at least. So, um, yeah, Jag, definitely, man. I'm definitely kicking it old school today. <laughs> uh, let's see who else is here. Uh, TN says, I play ball hockey, can't skate. Oh, no worries, man. You know what? If you want to get into ice, get yourself a pair of skates, get out there, practice and practice and practice, get some get some hours in. And a lot of the skills that you use in ball hockey will translate for into other, into other, into ice hockey. Um, Brent McLaughlin says, I'm in the same boat. Quite a few, uh, as quite a few, I haven't been able to get on the ice as a goalie ever. I've been playing roller hockey for about eight years. Um, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where sometimes you just have to rip off the bandaid, right? And, and punch fear in the face, get out there and know that everyone starts at some place. And in fact, I think I'm going to do a video about this, about my experience um, coming back to the ice after a long-term break. You know, I skated, I skated every week, sometimes twice a week for about 25 years, and then I took a six-month hiatus. And then the first time I got back onto the ice was interesting because I thought to myself, I had on ice had you know pregame jitters. I was like, am I going to be good? Am I going to fall on my butt? Am I going to know what I'm doing? Uh, you know. Am I going to let up a ton of goals? Am I going to look like a fool? Am I going to do all this other stuff, right? But the reality is is that I got back out there and it wasn't as bad, but I had those same feelings as a new goalie. And I thought, wow, man, I haven't had those feelings in a long time. But once you get out there and once you have a couple of sessions under your belt, um, you'll start feeling so much better. So yeah, so to take that plunge once the rings open up back, uh, open up again. Um, so let's see. A couple other a couple other comments in here and then we'll get into period three. Um Kirby Baldhead, this is totally awesome stream. Thanks, man. I uh I appreciate it. Edward says the music takes me back. Yeah, I, I'm not listening to it, but I can I can only imagine what like the the eight bit the eight bit chip, you know, music sounds like. And um maybe I'll have to listen to it again later. Uh John, yeah, this is the goal, yeah, exactly. Um, Jag says this looks way more chaotic than beer league. <laughs> it totally, it totally is. This game is was not designed where anyone plays any kind of position at all. It's 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 likened to a uh, magnet puck, right? When you were a mite or a squirt, and everyone just kind of goes where the puck is, and then you just have like a big huge mess. Um, but it's been so far. It's been fun so far. Hopefully, I can still hang on for the win. Uh, Dana says I love it. It's like beer league. You totally nailed the perspective. <laughs> yeah, totally. John says, my daughter's evaluation for spring canceled after your live stream yesterday. Oh, man, that stinks. You know, that's that's kind of what the trend is going to be, right? I think over the next couple of days, we're going to find that everything just shuts down. Um, but hopefully it gives us some time to do that. those things that I talked about in my video, gear maintenance, get your body to relax a little bit, and, um, and you know, Think about think about other ways we can consume goalie content to keep us keep our minds in the game. Um, a couple other questions here, and then we'll get into period three. Let's see. Uh, Hagenbach, hello, what's going on, man? Good good of you to join. Super excited to hang out with with you again for for just a little bit. Um, Brent says, what are some tips you have to goalie transitioning from roller to ice? I think it's uh, the the thing that you should work on the most is your skating. I don't have any direct experience playing roller hockey as a goalie, um, but from what I do, you know, your the things that you do in roller hockey, like your angles and kind of your save selections, will mostly translate to ice. The biggest difference that I've heard from a lot of people is your skating ability and down movement when you're in the butterfly, right? Because butterfly slides are 
butterfly pushes, butterfly like this and that are different on concrete, sport court, whatever it is that you're playing on for roller and ice because you automatically have that that ability to slide regardless of whether you're using things like pad sliders or roller flies or things like that, right? So I think skating is, is paramount and um, I think you'll find that ice hockey might be an easier transition to go to from roller hockey than the other way around because you'll gain so many more, uh, so much more ability to move from roller to ice than going the other direction where you have restricted movements on roller um, if you were used to playing ice hockey. So I, I hope that helps. You should let me know. Um, I think maybe the summer, someone floated around the idea that maybe the summer I get on, I get into roller and see how that works and have that kind of perspective on that. So um, I might do that this summer when the, when the weather gets a little bit warmer. So, um, but yeah, Brent, thanks for so, thanks for so much for your question. I hope that helps. Uh, some other people in here that I haven't seen, Stop Motion Guy Productions. Hey, Wayne, what's going on, man? How are you? You're you're new to the channel. I haven't seen you. Um, I haven't seen your name in here before. So he asked, should I get Warrior Ritual G fives? Oh, it really depends on on your playing style, what you what your game is like. Uh, from what I've seen, the G5s look like they will be an awesome pad. Um, they're releasing a bunch of promo materials right now involving Kirk Allen from the Warrior team, breaking down some things with the Goalie Monkey team. Um, and I know that I think he and Trav are going to have a live conversation, maybe Trav for Oilers, on Monday night on his channel. So definitely tune into that. I think that's going to be live, so maybe they'll be able to take some questions um, um, live. But I think that it depends on your style, right? If you like a really stiff pad, then yeah, the the Ritual G5s are probably uh, a good a good choice for you. Um, but even so, like I like a softer pad, and my G4s are really stiff, and I still I still dug them. I think they just played, you know, they just play really well, and the durability the durability is there. So let's see if I have. There were a couple other a couple other comments in between. Uh, in between that, Mayo, I watch or listen to Jim Park's two, part two while doing something on my way to school. Yeah, <laughs> or while doing something on my way to school. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a great it's a great um, it's a great thing to listen to like a podcast, right? Uh, Kirby Baldhead says, I suppose I'm supposed to be at hockey. I'm supposed to be at a hockey tournament today, but didn't go. I play goalie too. Uh, well, some will probably take over my net today. Yeah, it's tough when. It's tough when everyone's saying to go to stay home, right? And uh, and things are still open, or you still have responsibilities. But it's probably a good call um, in the long run to do your part as a global citizen and stay home. So I'm super glad that you could join me here, and maybe we'll have an awesome period three. Uh, let's see a couple other a couple other questions and comments in here, and then I'll get back into the game. Um, let's see where was I? Uh, Dewville says, would you recommend a one or two T catch glove? Um, and that's that's a good question. I you know, I think I'm going to have one of my goals this week is to uh, do I say this to you? Is to maybe live stream every day and um and when doing that, and I, I want to cap this one at, at, at 12 minutes, so I, I want to get going with this, but I want to um, potentially live stream every day just to hang out with you because uh, I think it's important to do that at, during this time when we're all kind of isolated and stuck at home to still be able to have an outlet for the goalie community to come and hang out, even if it's just for an hour. And so what I might do is have specific topics to talk about that you'll know. So be sure if you want to get in on those live streams that you subscribe and you click that notifications bell because I'll usually give an hour-ish notice for when I live stream, which will be at various points during the day to get as many people in uh, in the live stream, whether that be during the day, whether you're here in the US, North America, Canada, or Europe, or even farther than that, like if you're in Australia or New Zealand, um, or other countries around the globe, to, to get in. So if you click the notification, if you subscribe, click the notifications bell, you'll get that notification that I'll be going live and then you can join in. One of the topics I want to talk about, I think will be like a trapper specific live stream where we'll talk about glove things, glove preferences, glove breaks, maybe um, talk about things like one or two T it really, you know, skate lace and, and regular pockets, floating T pockets and stuff like that. I think it really boils down to personal preference. I think ultimately at, a, if you're playing at a rec level, 
one or two tee is it doesn't really matter it depends on whether you like to feel the puck hit that tee if it's a one, if it's a single tee you can feel the puck when it's in the pocket right sometimes a double tee you can't get that same feel but it cushions it more so it prevents pop outs so it could be a trade off depending on you know the level that you're playing at how fast how hard guys are shooting um, how good you are catching the puck, whether you want to feel it or not. So it really breaks down. I've used both. I've used the double T and I've used the single T um, in a bunch of different, a bunch of different years. And um, I just prefer a single T. One of those factors is, you know, how you, if you want to see the puck in your glove, like if you're covering it up, if a single T or a double T or a skate lace pocket or a regular um, nylon lace pocket, whether or not that impedes your vision. You know, there are a whole bunch of different factors. So hopefully those are some things that we can talk about in that Trapper specific live stream. So make sure you tune in, um, look for that. And uh, let's let's get back into, I want to have some time at the end and I'm running, I'm running short on time. So let's get back into the game. Let's finish up the game here and maybe I'll see if I have some extra time at the end to get to some more questions and comments in the chat. Um, but yeah, I want to, I, I definitely want to finish this game and hopefully pull out the W uh, at the end. So let's see if we can score maybe just another goal or two or even prevent them from scoring a goal. And, oh, damn, jeez, man, that's that's exactly what I wasn't looking to do. We, I think we scored a goal right off the faceoff in the second period, and so they came in, broke in, and scored that goal on me. So, all right, let's try to, let's try to buckle down here and, oh, we're going this direction. Come on. This is probably a bad angle to shoot at. Maybe I should shoot. Oh, shoot from the slot, right? Because that gives me the best. That gives me the best angle on their goalie. Oh, he made a good save. He made, he made a good save. I'll give him that. I don't know who the Canadian goalie could be. Um, back then in the 80s, it was probably. Ah, oh, that was such a that was such a dribbler shot. I was too busy trying to think of like what potential Canadian goalie from 1988 this could be. I don't know. My Canadian friends, let me know who the who the Team Canada goalie was at that time, and maybe we can just envision that was him. Oh, that was a good shot. That was a block. All right, someone get back there. Oh, breakaway! Oh, if I could just get that puck. That's the worst. Oh my gosh. Oh, we are going down by two goals. Canada's really turning it on in this period, man. I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull this game off. It's only there's only seven seven thirty six left. That was we're not gonna do it that way. All right. Oh, that was that looked like it could have been a screenshot if there if screenshots are even a thing. Jeez, the. Guys, we are tanking it. We are, uh, we just gave up four, four unanswered, five unanswered goals. Four unanswered goals. They had, they had five goals coming into this period. Maybe if we get a power play. Ah, oh, ah, ah. That's it. That's it. That was, that was a good series of saves. Oh man, where's my team? Where's my team? Oh. oh, I can't get that. All right, let's 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 get some let's some get some offense going here. Team Canada really turning on the heat. Get back, get back. Take that big guy. Take that. Go skate, skate, skate. Your butt off. There we go. Look at that. That was a that was a slap shot. There that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, that took that took so much time though. Let's win this face off. Right now. Get in there. Score another goal. Oh, that was a good save. Alright, my primary focus is trying to not let them score more goals. Alright, here we go. That's it. One goal game now. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. That only took about what a minute, so I got some. I got some time to equal to eat to tie it up. Oh. What's that guy doing in the corner? 
Oh, come on. I had, did you see those two, the two average guys? They were like in the corners waiting for something to happen. So that was, uh, that's on them. It's not always the goalie's fault. Here we go, right back. Got it right back. All right, this game is like, what now? Nine to 10, uh, this definitely feels like some of my beer league games, I can tell you for sure. Let's see, let's see if we can get a 10 spot on this guy. I guess I should have deeped. I knew that big guy was gonna steal it from me. Oh, he's shooting. Breakaway, come on. Oh, they passed it back to their goalie. That seems a little, that seems a little weird. A play that I would not do. We got like a minute left. That was a save. That was a save. Oh, come on. One minute. Take this dude, take that. Uh, I didn't have a good angle on that with those three shots. We are getting down to the wire. 30 se 34 seconds. Can the skinny guy do it? Oh my gosh. Oh, the skinny guy took it end to end for the tying goal with 25 seconds left. The guy that I never thought would score a goal in this game pulls through for me. Ah, uh, what do we do? Do we? I don't think there's a shootout. Oh no. Oh my gosh, that could have been the worst. Um, oh, is there a shootout? Oh my gosh, there's totally a shootout. This is the best. I didn't know, I don't think I remember that. Am I controlling the goalie? I don't know. Is this thing, how is this working? What is this magic? How does that guy shoot so fast? I think it's, to I think it could be totally random. Oh, see, oh my God, post. The big guy hit the post in the shootout. Okay, let's see. Goal for me, two goals. I think we win. Oh no, they have two shooters left. I need to stop one of these. I think that was it. I think USA wins. USA wins two to nothing in the shootout. There's our little Selly. The goalie doesn't even come out to celebrate with him. He <laughs> just stays in the crease. Oh my gosh, well that was, um, Guys, that was a super, super exciting finish to my first uh, gaming live stream. So glad that you were able to, let me, I'll take a couple more questions, let's see. Oh, we're reaching the, like the one hour mark. Um, I I will take uh, just a handful of more questions and see what's going on. I, I hope you enjoyed the game. I had a lot of fun. That was a, that was a good time. Um, it was a little, uh, a little stressful at the end, especially when we went down here. I'm going to mute the, I'm going to mute that ice hockey um, title screen music. It was a little stressful when we dropped like, we were down what, three goals, two goals at the, in the third period after, so we went into what, the third period with the one goal lead. We were down by th three goals and we came back to win it in the shootout. I mean, I couldn't have scripted that better. That was like, that was like the perfect ending to uh, this old school hockey game uh let's see what people let's see what people were saying in the chat oh my gosh all of you guys are like yelling in the chat that's so funny <laughs> uh let's see let's see what we've got in here um yeah people sweet game hit the post lol i'm salty epic <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, so, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a, uh, an awesome Saturday. Uh, like I said, like, subscribe, click notifications so that you know when I um, jump back into uh, another live stream. If I do that sometime uh, this week, maybe tomorrow, we'll have to see. So, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Remember, you are totally awesome. Have a great day, guys.